The question around the amazing CRISPR gene editing technology is how and when it would finally be used in the very practice of medicine. This is what we analyzed at The Medical Futurist. Very briefly, CRISPR technology is a groundbreaking tool in genetic engineering that acts like precise molecular scissors. Imagine if you could go into the DNA and cut out or replace specific parts, like fixing a typo in a sentence. That's what CRISPR does. Scientists use it to target and edit genes in living organisms, allowing them to remove faulty genes, add beneficial ones, or even turn genes on and off without altering their sequences. It's faster, cheaper, and more accurate than previous methods. This technology has huge implications for treating genetic disorders such as Huntington's disease, fighting malaria, and much more. We took the US Clinical Trials Registry and looked for every single clinical trial that involved CRISPR technology to find out what practical use cases we can expect in the coming years. So here is what we have learned. Out of the 440,000 trials from over 200 countries, we identified 51 CRISPR-related studies and they were categorized as completed, ongoing, or terminated based on their status. Number one, completed CRISPR clinical trials. Considering that clinical trials that can take over 10 years to complete, it's no surprise that only six trials are listed as complete. One completed phase one clinical trial involved CRISPR edited T cells in patients with advanced non-small cell lung cancer. Notably, half of the completed trials investigated interventions for advanced cancer types, and the remaining involved either diabetes, uh, viral eye infection, or Kabuki syndrome, a rare genetic condition. Number two, ongoing CRISPR clinical trial. 30 of the trials we found are ongoing ones, and they are investigating the safety of CRISPR-based therapies either for cancer treatment or genetic conditions such as sickle cell disease. As an example, one of the trials following up with patients who received CRISPR-modified hematopoietic stem infusion for either beta thalassemia or severe sickle cell disease to determine the long-term safety and efficiency of the treatment. Number three, terminated CRISPR clinical trials. 15 trials, and nearly all of them, investigated the treatments of cancer, but their outcomes will likely remain unknown considering the statuses of the trials. If a trial with a less positive outcome is terminated, it doesn't necessarily mean that other therapies aren't possible. It means the approach of a certain trial didn't pan out as initially planned. What can be learned from all this? That the breakthrough technology is finally making it to a lot of clinical trials and thus evidence-based medicine will be able to accept them as new treatments if proven right. That's what I will keep on monitoring for you. Thank you for watching. If you like this video, please subscribe below to get notified about every single new video we come up with. And also please go to medicalfuturist.thinkific.com where you will find our two courses, the Digital Health course and our newest one, Introduction to Artificial Intelligence in Medicine and Healthcare. See you there.